when you come back from like LA, New York, Paris, wherever, and you come out here, you're, out, you're it's like walking in a photograph. You know what I mean? Like you really appreciate the beauty of the island and where we live, and and the the great thing about here is it's not trying to be anything else other than Bowen Island. first started doing a clothing line with a local person. Basically, he had a line called Spruce. Asked me to come in and design, and I went in there, and we were partners. He was a contractor, and I was a designer, and you know. Coming up with the name, the logo, the design, the aesthetic of it was basically, it was all designed after old Canadian military. Designed the clothing line, came up with the name Wings and Horns, which is around today. It was a really well-made product, it still is. Richard Kidd came after when I went to Europe. I was like, I went to Paris and I was just in love with the culture. As you get older too, your, your style matures or whatever. And with, with the stores with like 24 and stuff like that, we were trying to emulate huge designer. With Richard Kidd, it was like, why not go and get the stuff that we really, really like and not try and emulate, you know what I mean? Like a streetwear brand trying to make stuff on that level. Okay, here you go. This is, okay, sneaker craze here. That's how it all started, right there. I was really uninspired with sneakers at the time. And so I went to Champs, because no one had Nike accounts back then, so it was, I asked for a team discount. I told them I had a group of young kids that I needed basketball shoes for. And so they gave me a discount and I got the shoes and then I actually chopped up the bag and then took it all down to this cobbler because I couldn't sell them for the life of me in Vancouver. So I called up Eddie and he's like, yeah, send me you know, six pairs or whatever. So I sent him six pairs. He sold them right away. And then Marianne in New York wanted them. As time, as time went on, I, I was doing them and then they got held up in customs this one time. So Eddie was like, oh, do you mind if I just do them over here? And I was like, well, no, whatever. Like, I was kind of pissed because it was like, they, you know, it was good money and it was, they were selling. And then all of a sudden, everyone was doing, like, customized shoes. It was like a disease. It just took on its own life. This is when we did the cause show. That show was, yeah, August 24th, November 8th, 2002. And he did these huge chalk drawings on, on the, the gallery walls, and he did eight of them. You know, people have asked to buy those panels, but I, I painted over everything. I always painted over everything because I, I felt like they're my friends. Like, I'm not going to sell my friends, you know what I mean? I've always been the person who's done stuff because it was an extension of what I was into or something that I liked, and I truly was like, hey, you know what? This is what I like. Those shows cost me money. People will come to you all day long, and that's part of being a retailer, and tell you what they think you should carry. Or, or how you're gonna fail, or, you know what I mean? Like, I don't get it, da 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 da. Well, it's not for you to get, either you get it or you don't. It's nothing to get. It's, first of all, it's clothing, and it's a lifestyle. But that's the beauty of it. It's focused, it's small, like, there's not a lot of quality out there. How many people can make good product, you know?